previous low, where it held before it tests the top again to form a double top. So this is your neckline. And then um, it has broken the support level, which is also the neckline of the double top formation. Before it breaks the neckline, you in your six steps, you could only uh, name it as a potential double top formation. Until it breaks the neckline, pull back to form a lower high, then only you name it as a double top formation. Okay? Because you will never know if, let's say, this is a support and probably market just consolidates sideways. You will never know. So the first thing that it has to break is the support at the neckline and form a lower high so that you can draw a tentative bearish trend line, right? So it makes sense, right? So now take a look at the price action. Price pulled back to the neckline and reversed at the former support turn resistance level to form a lower high. A lower high is formed when the previous low is broken. So it forms a continue to trade the downside. The thing that you have to look out for is after it breaks the support at the neckline, it pull back and then form a lower high and break the previous low here and then you can draw your tentative bearish trend line, right? Okay, so that is the first signal that market potentially is trading the retracement of this bullish trend or this up move. Then next one, we go into Okay, then do not rule out sometimes there is a fight between the bears and the bulls. The bulls are trying to push to break the resistance once more. And then the bears will definitely con uh, protect and defend the bearish sentiment. Do not rule out. So at this particular example, is a very good example for you to take a look. To see the fight between the bears and the bulls. So as take a look. This is still a higher low. Potentially still the third leg, right? Potentially still the third leg. One, two, and then it's still higher than the previous low, right? If you are trading, you potentially will trade this one as a third leg, right? Then when do you give up it as the third leg? We go into the next, uh, next chart, but Take a look, eh? some bears were also taking profit at this level while the bulls tried to push a third higher low to continue the bullish trend. Take a look at the previous, the next price action. As long as the pullback holds as a lower high and then it is still a tentative bearish sentiment because you can still, if this previous low is broken, you can still trade like this, right? And then you, can, you will be trading this channel. Okay? So when, when do you give up uh, to be bearish? I mean, to be bullish, when uh, it still holds as a lower high to continue to trade this down move. Okay? If it breaks the previous high and form a higher high, then you, con you will take this one as the third higher low. Okay? Only if it breaks the previous high and form a higher high. But in this price section, you see that it still formed, maintained as a lower high to continue to draw or to continue to maintain the bearish sentiment. We'll take a look at the next slide again and see what it turns out. So it broke the previous low. And then this is your coincidence. And definitely this is your incident. This is your coincidence, which is your point B. And then it broke with the lower high. Some profit taking comes in. The very next price action that you have to look out for, it should find resistance at the previous support. This is your potentially trend to confirm the downtrend. Okay, and if it breaks the previous low, and then we can say that this, with this double top, successfully reverse the bullish to a bearish trend. Okay, so point B is the second lower high, which is known as the coincidence, which is here. After the previous low was successfully broken, the previous low is here. When it broke the previous low, this is your coincidence. And then the subsequent pullback phase resistance 
at point C and form a third lower high and potentially a trend. Okay, so these are the thought process that should come into your mind. Because as much as you are bullish, you must also look out for if it continues to maintain as a lower high, then you would be you just let the price action to um, to show you a clearer direction. Okay. And the next one, an acceleration was formed in the downtrend to retest the downside. Take a look, there is an acceleration form as well. So it signaled to you that market is aggressively selling and subsequently the bear won and reversed the bullish trend uh, to a bearish trend. So it breaks the previous low now and then it reverses the bullish trend to a bearish trend. So that is the price action or the top process that should go into your mind when you trade off a double top. Okay, next one. We go into the another worksheet, worksheet four, which is uh, which is at the back of your worksheet three. Identify the same thing. Two minutes. Take a quick um, exercise. Identify the key reversal pattern. It's quite obvious now. And then, what is the where is the support level? And then, where is the current trend line? And has the trend line been broken, the neckline, and then identify the minimum objective level. we we'll take around two minutes and then we'll go through the answers. The answer one by one, step by step. So where is the dotted trend line that you would have drawn? So this is the dotted trend line where you join all the highs and this one will be your dotted current uh, trend line potentially an accelerated trend line if, if it breaks the previous low but from the price action we see that there's a potential double bottom key reversal pattern so this is the support level one support twice and form a potential double bottom with the neckline or resistance at this level because you can see from price action it has tested one time and then it forms the second, uh, the double bottom. And then now it's trying to break the uh, resistance at the neckline. Okay, for this particular example, you can see that it is simply covering this gap of the down, down channel. Okay. And then take a look. Just now there is uh, there's a question why this is not a double bottom. Because if you think the minimum objective of this double bottom, would you want to trade this off as a double bottom? Because take a look, this minimum objective when you project it out from the breakout point, it is overlapping with the resistance of the downtrend line. So do you think it can materialize that easily or not? So I will be less ambitious trading this as a double bottom to cover the gap of this acceleration, just the deceleration. Okay? So if later when you see, or maybe in your worksheet, you can see that at this section, it struggles. It consolidates for many, many minutes before it breaks the upside. So you can tell that market is struggling to break above um, is, is trying to break above to continue the upside with a higher low instead of this double bottom. It is a higher low that reverses the trend. Okay. So the next one is um, so the minimum objective you can see that it is harder for this double bottom to materialize because the minimum objective overlaps just in between the resistance trend line. Okay, trend line is also a form of resistance. Okay, then the next one. So now, the next question, step two, you have to ask yourself, has the uh, current trend line broken? So we can see that this red dotted line that we have drawn is broken, and then we have identified by the price action that price fault here, tested twice, and trying to reverse to trade the deceleration with a higher low here. Then we go to the next uh, slide, take a look. There is a 
third leg as well. One, two, this is the higher low, and then three. Third leg form at the neckline is the place where it should form, right? So a third leg or higher low forms is also very important where it is formed. In this particular case, the third leg pullback forms at the neckline. It's significantly strong to cover back this gap. Okay, so let me just repeat. Broke the resistance level. The resistance level is at the neckline. And price pulled back to the neckline and formed a third higher low to continue the upside or simply cover the gap of this or deceleration. Next, we go into the next chart. Okay, so now the minimum objective has met. One box is about three pips. So if you zoom into your 10 seconds chart, you would have already gotten your three pips here. Trading off the pullback to the neckline of the double bottom to trade this deceleration at the third leg which form at the neckline. One box here in your worksheet is three pips. So in your 10 seconds chart, you would have gotten your three pips easily. Okay, But don't be too ambitious because you are just covering this gap or trading the deceleration. You have to continue to look out for price action build up if they want to reverse or market wants to reverse this down channel into an uptrend. You have to continue to look out the price action. Okay, but in this uh, tutorial, we'll just cover the double bottom formation, covering or trading off the deceleration. Okay, remember like what I told you just now. Broke the accelerated trend line can signal to you two things. One thing is the deceleration. And then one thing is after the deceleration, what happened after that? It can, I give you an example. If let's say it covers the gap, this is deceleration because it broke the accelerated trend line. Correct? Then, then you have to ask yourself two questions. After this deceleration, if let's say there is a consolidation, if let's say there is a consolidation, then you have to ask yourself, the consolidation will break the upside to reverse the trend, or after the consolidation, it will break the downside to continue this down channel. There's the two questions that you have to ask yourself. Because deceleration has finished, but what happened next? Then you have to ask yourself two questions. So continue to look out for the price action build up. After this consolidation, continue to form a higher low, probably they have a chance to continue the upside. But if it's a lower high, lower high, then it will continue to trade off this down channel. Okay? So that is uh, some thought process that you can use during your live trading. So part four, I will distribute to you uh, variation. What are the potential second mode of defense? Or simply means the variation of a chart pattern. In this case, we'll go through the variation of a double bottom. Identify the variation of the double bottom. What um, circle, where it's very obvious, la, this double bottom has turned into a triple bottom. So circle, where is the triple bottom in the worksheet? Then we'll go through the explanation later. So initially, it is a potential double bottom formation near 130.80 level. Okay, let me just circle the double bottom for you. So this is the first time tested and then reverses. So this is your first uh, your support level. And then the second time, it tested the 30.80 and bounces off and still could not form a lower low. But instead, it forms at the same level and it builds up with a potential double bottom now. Right? We can see this is a potential double bottom with the neckline at around this level. Okay, then next one, we can see that sellers or the best try to push the price down to continue the, the bearish sentiment. So you can see when it reaches the neckline, there's always a fight between the bulls and the bears, but the bears buyers, uh, but the bulls buyers continue to try to reverse the bearish sentiment and defend the bullish sentiment with the triple bottom formation. So when you see tested one time, couldn't form a lower low, tested two times, couldn't form a lower low, and now it has tested three times, and this is the third time, and we can see a triple bottom formation. 
and the neckline is still at the same level, which is somewhere around here. Okay. Okay, next one. So, where is the minimum objective? The minimum objective is at the neckline, pull back to the bottom, and then project out from the breakout point, which is at the neckline, and this is your minimum objective level. Okay, and then the very important thing to look out for is the pull back to the neckline, hold as a higher low. So, take a look. If this is the double, uh, triple bottom, it has to reverse this trend, right? What happens is that you have to continue to look out for price find support at the previous resistance, especially at the previous at the neckline. So the neckline I have drawn for you, which is at this level, and then it found support at C, which is uh, to continue the upside and a higher low as well. So this is the higher low. So you will not be bearish because it is still a higher low, and especially a higher low pull back to the neckline. It's very important where it is formed, right? So for this case, this higher low form at the neckline. And then you continue to look out for buying opportunities. So before we uh, proceed to the next slide, let me just run you through. Price pull back to the neckline, which is at C, and supported at the previous resistance. So this is your previous resistance. And formed a higher low. So when there's a higher low form, you will try to form a higher high. So you continue to look out for opportunities if that is clearance, right? So let's go to the next uh, slide. So you can see, once it breaks the previous high, this is your coincident. Incident, coincident when the previous high is broken, and then now the pullback form uh, potentially a trend, and when the previous high at D is broken, and then you can draw a bullish trend now. So if you have identified this as a triple bottom, pull back to the neckline form a higher low, you will continue to look out for opportunities and some trades you have been you could have done is here. You have got about 5.2 pips trading off this as a one, two, third leg as well. And then you've got a 5.2 pips here. And then you continue to look out for opportunities to buy. This is also a three point something pips which I have taken. So if you are continuing to buy, trade off this triple bottom, you are safe. Okay? And uh, summary, so we have gone through the double top and double bottom. Double top forms at the top is to reverse the bullish trend to a bearish trend. Double bottom forms at the bottom, of course, and then is to reverse the bearish trend to a bullish trend. Okay, and then you have understand how the price action signal to you is the uh, trading off a reversal or potentially a retracement or a deceleration. Okay. Therefore, it is important to focus on the price action build-up to confirm the key reversal pattern formation. Okay, I think that's all. If you have questions, then we can uh, you can just let me know. We can go through.